I think it's often seen as a negative thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. especially if you ever have a conversation or hear a conversation about immigration, it's usually always in a negative light. You never yeah. sort of hear a conversation saying, oh, I think immigration's really positive because, yeah. like... Oh, it seems to be quite bitter when people talk yeah, about immigration. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's usually always it stems from this idea of, oh, immigrants are stealing our jobs, which I just think yeah. is a totally, like, yeah. ill-informed judgment. We've all discussed as well how even though there's a negative light that shines on immigration that we think there's a lot of positive aspects to it, mm, like it brings yeah. in a new culture and it expands our knowledge of different cultures really. Mm. Yeah. You think of how many things that we have that are made by different cultures, I mean to, to reject people that are from other countries would just be hypocritical. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. you might as well just take everything that's made in a different country <laughs> out of the UK if we're going to have yeah. that attitude. Yeah. <laughs> it's but boring. it's even like our own culture's been made over mm. centuries of immigrants coming in, so yeah, it's kind exactly. of they've made our culture what it is today, so we're known for being diverse. Yeah. That's like that's like a big thing. That's something are. that we're proud of, like as Britain. Yeah, as <laughs> yeah, yeah we're charitable yeah. we like immigration. And I like the fact that if we let people into our country, maybe they'll be more willing to let us come to their countries because yeah. a lot of us move abroad, so it's why like can't they come to us? Yeah. yeah, we shouldn't say, Oh no, you're not allowed in our country but expect all of our old pensioners to go to Spain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We wouldn't like it if we tried to go over there and then they just pushed us away. Like that'd be yeah, quite rude. Yeah, like, so like, why should we do our jobs go home? We're yeah, a we're like, a polite nation. I think we should yeah. stick to that. <laughs> <laughs> Keep up to that. Yeah. Name. I definitely think that having different cultures in our society ex expands our minds, if you want to put yeah, it like that. Yeah, it our knowledge yeah, of the world. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, for example, I work in a Chinese takeaway and my boss is Chinese from China and um, he's <laughs> obviously, <laughs> makes sense. Um, and it's just, I think it's really interesting. We often have conversations between what culture's like in the UK to, compared to what culture's like in China. And I find it really interesting to, to like, compare them and think yeah. and it seems so different and you sometimes think wow like I can't ever imagine it being like that but then to me that makes me want to go to China itself yeah. and experience it firsthand yeah, yeah definitely like I'm the same I work in a service station and the majority of the people that work there are from Poland or Estonia and they're some of the friendliest people I've met and I'm really interested every mm. time they talk about going back home yeah so mm. you just want to learn about something that's different and I think it's really interesting yeah, yeah. I think the only way we can learn about it really is like well the closest thing besides going to that country is having someone from there and, yeah. Yeah. and I think that's having that conversation yeah <laughs> yeah definitely I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all no. yeah and if they stop immigration then I do think it is yeah it is isn't helping us at all because our children if we stop immigration won't have that first and experience that we do mm. yeah, yeah, I think exactly. a lot of immigrants are normally kind of skilled workers like doctors mm. and like builders and stuff and there's kind of a lack of that in society anyway, so the more we can have, the more... Yeah, definitely. I don't better. think it matters where you're from. I think as long as mm. you're qualified or whatever you do, mm. you're good at, then yeah. why should it ma matter where you're from? It's like the same in yeah. England. If like, you're from a different city, it doesn't make a difference, so why should yeah. it matter if you're mm. from a different country? But I think, like, immigrants who've lived here, like, all their lives, like, my sister's friend, she's Polish, and she had to change her last name because, like, no one would give her jobs because really? they wow. thought, like, she, they knew she was Polish. So that's kind of like affected her future, even though she's lived here all her life, and like yeah. just because her family's Polish, that's kind of affected her getting a job yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's just not on really. No. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, why should it? Why should it be like that? And why no. is it like that? I think if the government's saying it affects our generation, like we are representing that generation. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. Do we're saying it's fine. <laughs> yeah, that issue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think definitely older generations probably. Would, I don't want to like generalise every older generation, but you'd probably think of them being a bit more prejudiced, perhaps, yeah. simply yeah. because it's something they're not used to. We have a grown up there. Yeah. Like, my granddad, he's from a very rural kind of Yorkshire, mm. and he, like, even to this day, he doesn't eat foreign food or anything. <laughs> he just really? eats, like, Yorkshire puddings and sausages. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, he's my really not My much grandparents are yeah. the same. They're from, like, the real Yorkshire people. Yeah. And, you know, every time <laughs> my mum goes to help them with their shopping, it's, like, Yorkshire puddings and, like, <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> like I think I don't think that's really like being the negative about no, immigration it's just though. That it's I just think they're less aware, I think. Mm. And I yeah. think they're more used to what they know and yeah. they maybe less kind of not it's open definitely. to it but just not as experienced with it. Yeah. Yeah. I think because we've kind of grown up in a society where it has been more multicultural and we experience it every day that it's become more of a norm and Yeah, definitely. Mm. Well again mm. we're from a school we go to a school where we get the majority of students from Le Leeds all want to come here. Mm. Yeah, mm. So there's a lot of multicultural. Yeah, it, it depends yeah. on where you live as well because obviously it's different up north 
than it is down south. It's how you've been brought up, really. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like, it's like my uncle, he was brought up in a sort of an area where there were lots of immigrants, and I think he sort of, his dad always obviously viewed immigration quite negatively, so he views it quite differently than mm. I do. Yeah, we yeah. definitely can't speak for the majority of yeah. the no. UK when we sit here and say we don't see much of a problem with it. So I think in terms of the younger generation, though, I think... Well, certainly I feel like it's a lot more open to it because mm. it's like you said it's more of a, a norm like we don't see it as something different because it is like our that's our culture yeah. like our mm. society now so we're just used to it I think definitely but like I also remember like in younger years of high school like was it Georgie were you saying about how it's the way you brought up yeah you know I've seen like more like Asian kids had insults hurled at them yeah. mm, by yeah. British kids because it's just the way that maybe their parents think or their grandparents think and it really influences them. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and I think that was it's totally unfair because the chances are the people who are giving the insults know absolutely nothing about it. They're just <laughs> yeah. saying it because they've heard they, their they parents say it. Exactly, and I think that's the problem because people don't have a knowledge so they just sort of mm. th make things up. Yeah. And I think that's the issue.